Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Fighting Evolution Wrestling. About as far as we got last time, a lockup here it is again. Congratulations on your victory, but after what you did interrupting someone's match before you, you're suspended again. Oh, what? You we got to be kidding me. Match was over with. Oh, you got to be kidding me. To Fighting Evolution Wrestling, we are coming at you live from the Magic City, Miami, Florida, deep in the heart of Miami here, Sticks. My name is the young professor, Matt Grafer. They call me Sticks. It is steamy outside, but even hotter here in the FEW arena. It is always hot here in Florida, isn't it? Even though it's a couple of days after Thanksgiving, we hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. We know you tuned into our show last week, but we hope that you traveled safely and you have safely begun all of your holiday shopping. I have. I got you your present. My, you got me my present. I got you your present. Right. It's waiting. It's waiting. I have. It's. It's. I, I. don't have Prime, so I have to wait a little bit. Uh, that's fine. 
But you know something, we're speaking of the holiday seasons and shopping and all that. Make sure that you follow us on social media. It's Fighting Evolution Wrestling TV on YouTube. It's FEW underscore survive. That's where going to be where you find us on Instagram and Twitter and Fighting Evolution Wrestling on Facebook. And you'll want to see those in case you want to pick up any FEW merchandise or something. You know, maybe, maybe get something for Sticks or me or, or some of your favorite FEW wrestlers. That's I don't right. know. I'm a medium extra husky just in case anybody medium, cares. Medium extra husky, That's ladies right. and gentlemen. But enough about that. We've got some gifts for you tonight in the way of our matches for our program. Tonight we're going to tell you about what we've got in store. We're going to have Jimmy Jam making his in-ring debut here on the FEW program, taking on Isaiah Zane, who we saw in action last week. That's right, one-third of the make-its. you got Kaya Dream, after a confusing loss, has a chance to make a huge mark tonight against a former Flares champion. The former Flares champion, in fact, because she was the one who had it right before the restart when everybody got stripped. Kaya Dream of Culture Inc. getting a chance to maybe right some of the wrongs here. That's right, against Miss Roxy Roosh. We've also got some tag team action. I love some tag team matches. You do, it's your favorite thing ever. We have the People's Court. That's right, we've got Judge Jack Kelly and Officer Drake. That's and my cousin Vinny. Well, he'll, he's going to be here tonight as well. But they're going to be taking on Culture Inc. That's Malik Bosidi and Eli Knight. And what we're going to open with tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the hardest working men here in FEW. I'm talking about Chungus and, yes, go ahead, no, say you, it. No, you, you said it wrong. The hardest working man in FEW, undefeated in the courtroom, but here in FEW, for your viewing pleasure, my cousin Vinny. Hey, yo, what do you say? What do you know? Let's take it to him. He's got some things to say. I bet he does. Thank you so much, Professor and Sticks. I'm here with... Vincent LaGuardia Gambini. He's gonna be facing Chungus tonight, but I also heard from Chungus earlier that you're trying to file a case against him in court? Yeah, absolutely right there, Josh. So let me show you what I have here. You clearly see, Chungus has been indecently exposing himself to our FEW fans and to our FEW wrestlers. And I'm here to make sure that I put an end to that. And this right here is going to make sure that justice is certain. That's right. Vinny Gambini, the counselor speaks, and we have to listen to it, don't we? <laughs> you get to listen to it. You said that wrong. Well, let's hear what his opponent, Chungus, has to say heading into this one tonight. Thank you so much, Professor and Sticks. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Chungus. Chungus. Tonight you are facing Vincent LaGuardia Gambini, member of the People's Court. How are you feeling here before tonight's match? I'm gonna be honest with you, Josh. I'm a little upset, you see. I found out that guy, he's trying to bring me up on charges of indecent exposure. He sees me wrestle in the ring and he said, all he sees is sweat and nut sacks. I, I, I don't understand it. If, if that's flashing, then honestly, lock me up, all right? I'm a pretty simple guy. I don't know a lot about the law, but I did help build a courthouse once. And it was a lot of hard work. And tonight, I'm going to show Vincent Gambini what hard work is all about. Now, i got to make some phone calls. This one is going to be a clash of styles, folks. We know you're ready for it, but stand by. We've got a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to throw it to Joshua Flores in the ring for our first match of the evening. We are alto hyperbaric oxygen. We provide pressurized oxygen sessions that will help you recover faster, train harder, and heal quickly. We are open in Florida and California and coming soon globally. Visit us at altohyperbaric.com. Alto hyperbaric oxygen. Recuperate, recover, rejuvenate. Make your body better with oxygen. Call today or visit us at altohyperbaric.com.
He is a builder. He is a mover. He is a shaker. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to see him shake anything, Professor. That is Chungus, the big man. He is here tonight to show that he is not just good at putting together the ring, he's pretty good at working on the inside of it as well. Our fans always have some terrible things to say about Chungus, don't they? They, they, they call him Fungus. They're not smart. They're just uh, you not know, smart people. I, I wouldn't go that far. I think, I think they just dislike him and they're making fun of him. Speaking of things we can make fun of. Hey, hey, no, I'm hey, sorry. you never go against the family. That's right, you're, you're you a relative here. Against the family. Vinny Gambini, the classiest man in FBW. Gambini with the briefcase. All the way from the Brooklyn School of Law. Graduated at the bottom of his class. Hey. But what do they call a lawyer who graduates with the lowest possible score on the bar exam six? What do they call a counselor? Hey! Never lost a case, that's what I hear. That's right, he's never, never lost, lost a case. case. He's got fancy gold chains. Wait a minute, look at this. See, Vinny's got five fingers, but he only uses tree, right? Tree. I'm glad you know how to count. Chungus, though, I think Chungus is hoping that he can count the three as well. And I'm talking about a three count, hopefully pinning his opponent, Vinny Gambini's shoulders down to the mat for three. I have oh, oh, wait a minute! No. That's a way to do it right there. Well, I happen to know that. Ch Chungus just laid him out with a big boot and went for no cover. What are you doing? That's a rookie mistake what are you, what are you here, doing? Sticks. I happen to know that Vinny has a case, an open case against Mr. Chungus for indecent uh, hey, exposure. It what are you talking about indecent? He is fully covered. He's all flab and ball sweat. Unbelievable. Chungus here doing some calisthenics in the ring. Big chop. I'm not sure that's that, assault. I'm not sure that Vinny Gambini learned much about that inside the courtroom. Things are a bit more civilized in their uh, in the heat of debate. Chungus! Yeah. Oh, Come on, Vinny. He's showing oh, some explo- Chungus, right? Chungus, yes. Nana's not gonna like that. They, they keep calling him Chungus. Goes for the cover. But with all that showboat, and he missed an opportunity here. That could have been a great way to put away Vinny Gambini. Chungus with a rear chin lock. Look at that iron grip of Chungus. I don't know That's if it's an iron. Tightening all those bolts and putting together the very sturdy professional wrestling ring, not just this one, but rings all up and down the state of Florida. I would give him his due. He is one hell of a roadie. I think that's doing him a bit of a disservice. It's not Scott. He gave the man a compliment. You know what? Last time we saw hey, Chungus. Hey, look at that chop block. Chungus went up against the former FEW champion Prince Ekbala, who is one of the most impressive competitors I have ever seen in a pro wrestling ring, and Chungus held his own. So to just call him a roadie is not fair. And now he's in the ring with me familiar. And getting a leg nice. drop across the throat. Very nice leg drop there. Cover. Vinny Gambini able to get that left shoulder up. Referee Andrew Burt presiding over the action here tonight. Calling this one straight down the middle. Again, we want to thank all of our fans for being here. Tuning in every Saturday night to watch us here with Fighting Evolution Wrestling. Making sure the fans know his name oh. is in fact Chungus and not anything else that rhymes with it. Vinny working the leg. That's a chop block is what I call it. You working the leg. Working the leg, working the leg. You got an interesting hey. Oh, wait a minute. Torque in the neck. The Rotini. It's called the Rotini. Rotini. It's called the Rotini. That's what it is. It's all family recipe. It's called the Rotini. Well, that explosive damage to the yeah. cervical spine of Chungus was enough to put him away. Yeah. 
Vinny Gambini, one of the members of the People's Court. Great stuff, great We're stuff. gonna see his stablemates, Judge Jack Kelly and Officer Drake out here in just a little bit, but by hook or by crook, emphasis on the ladder. What are you, what are you, why do you make uh, accusations? trying to snap someone's neck. Why do you make accusations? Is, uh, is not uh, a legal doing? maneuver in my estimate. You know what, why don't you be quiet and let Cousin Vinny say some words about some things. Let's throw it back to Vinny Gambini. Vincent Gambini, congratulations on your first win. How are you feeling? It's my first win? Never lost, man. I'm undefeated in that courtroom. That ring's not going to be any different, man. No matter who you put there, the law's on my side. And on my side only. And no matter who you put in there, I'm going to make sure they understand who the top prosecutor is in New York. You understand that? The top prosecutor in the state of New you heard York, him. undefeated in the courtroom. A big victory tonight, but let's hear from his opponent, Chungus. Let's see how he's feeling. Listen, ah, God, that stupid fool Gambini, he might have won tonight, but there's still one more battle to fight, and that's in the courtroom. And I know a thing or two about getting the job done. Ah. Chungus still yet to pick up a victory here at FEW, but I think an impressive display from him tonight as always. Folks, don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. We've got some tag team action coming your way right after the break. The Love Alive Charity is a nonprofit organization founded by professional wrestler, the Pope Elijah Burke a college graduate and former Jacksonville Sheriff Officer who is a native to Jacksonville, Florida. The mission of the Love Alive charity is to give back to the community while aiming to improve the quality of life in greater Jacksonville. Since 2012, the Love Alive charity has positively influenced many people by feeding the homeless, helping displaced families, and restoring faith in disadvantaged communities through humanitarian efforts. Hello, I'm Elijah Burke. With as little of a donation of $1 or more, you can help make a difference in the lives of others. To donate and to learn more about the Love Alive charity, please visit the ElijahExpress.com. Tonight, you're Roxy, no excuses, no prisoners, all right? Take her down. Show what stuff. the culture is all about, sis. Georgia, all right? Let's get this. For the ACL on. one time. Let's go. Handle yes. your business. All right. Sorry. On to us. Come on, we got what? Judge, jury, execute. I don't know what is that little thing is called, the but. The People's Court. The People's Court? Ran by Vinny G. I thought it was a TV show. Hey, Jason. Oh, man. Oh, they trying to bring it over I here. I actually like the TV show, though. Yeah, but hey, hey, that's the wrong culture. You know what I'm saying? Very true. Very true. Yeah. So tonight, we take them out also. You know what we came here to do. All right. And that work. Let's go. Simple as that. Give these boys a culture shock. They will never forget. Stay woke. Let's get it. Welcome back, FEW fans. Well, we already saw one of the members of the People's Court. I'm talking Vinny, Vinny Gambini. My cousin. Friend of Sticks over here. Friend? But we're going to see we're gonna see the rest of his familia. That's Is right. that what you call them? Yes. That's the People's Court Judge Jack Kelly and Officer Drake taking on Culture, Inc. Let's first hear from members of the People's Court. Thank you so much, Professor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the People's Court. Gentlemen, Judge Jack Kelly. Officer Alex Drake and Vincent LaGuardia Gambini. How are your feelings tonight about your matches? Tonight, the People's Court is going to be facing Culture Inc. Really, Culture Inc. They're a group of nothing but ex cons, criminals, perpetrators. What's yes. more to say about them? They're getting what they deserve tonight. Well, tonight they are just going to be facing you. They've been running rampant over the FEW. How do you feel about your chances tonight in your match? Chances? We're gonna freaking go over them. They're gonna get what they deserve. They're gonna get their sentence. Josh, there's just one thing you gotta know. They call themselves Culture Inc. There's only one culture here now in FEW. 
That's the law. And that's what we are here to serve. People's Court I Culture Inc. It is wait. time. Let's go ahead and throw it to Joshua Flores. He is inside the ring. Ready for this one. against one half of the tag team known as the Headbangers, former WWF champions of Headbangers. That was Headbanger Mosh. And he's, he's in tag team action tonight alongside Judge Jack Kelly. And they both have their hands full with a very, very talented tag team. Culture Inc. being represented here at FEW in this matchup. Culture Inc making bold claims, talking about how they are going to change the culture of FEW. One of our sayings here is we make believe, and they say they want to make us believe in the change of the culture. Here they come. The 19-year-old prodigy, Eli Knight. The integrator, Malik Bosidi and Nick J. Holiday. Outspoken representative of Culture Inc. Every member of Culture Inc. is so talented. What? He's got notes for us. Notes? He's, he's, what do you got notes for? He's got notes for us. Notes. Okay, notes. we're being joined right now at commentary by. This is happening. This is it. And it's right, here we go. So, a little bit of commentary has been added to the co to the commentary table. Nick J. Holiday, welcome and, and thank you for joining us here. You you have notes for us? Yeah, no, no, yeah, I got notes from the culture. Yeah, the, you, we, we also have notes. Do, I mean, do we have you have something we don't have? Notes. Yeah, yeah, I have, I have everything. I have everything y'all need to know about the culture. Y'all finna find out firsthand in the ring while Malik Bo City, the integrator, along with the prodigy of flight. Eli Knight, who was just 19 years of age, by the way, and has already became a heavyweight champion in the state of Florida, along with Malik. He's already been an open champion in the state of Florida as well. Now they're together as a tag team, ready to change the culture here at FEW. Speaking of changing the culture, speaking of being a tag team here in FEW, they had an impressive display a couple of weeks ago, but you got to wonder, how are they going to fare against a more seasoned tag team, a team like, say, oh, I don't know, the former rightful. tag team champions, no, the no, Players no. Club. The right tag team champions. Oh, oh, okay, the Players Club that got suspended for a second time. You know what I'm saying? That's that's who you're referring to, the Players Club? Yes. So I, it sounds like we won't have to be worried about them anytime soon in the near future, uh, thanks to our good commissioner, Sky, who's doing an amazing job, by the way, not letting the inmates run the asylum here at FEW. So you believe that she has made some of the some justified decisions in not one but two suspensions of the Players Club? Yeah, but at the same time, she's done an amazing job, but they brought it on themselves. Let's, let's be honest. Who told them to come out here and interfere in some other tag teams match? We got a deep tag team team here at FEW. You got the Iversons. All right, we got the People's Court that we're putting that work on right now. The People's Court is certainly feeling a little bit of the change in culture right now. Exactly right. Eli Knight with some knife edge chops. Woo! Just put, a, just put a skin mark on that boy, man. I'm telling as, you. He might as well have an X on his chest. Everyone seems to like to do this to him. Mm -hmm. Well, after the beating you took from Mosh a few weeks back, I know for a Malik fact. Malik with a kick to the midsection. Here comes Eli. Look at that double stub on the back. Oh! Sling blade from Malik Bosidi. And now Malik with a little jaw jacket to Judge Jack Kelly. 
That is no way to address an honorable judge. Absolutely not. But I, I, I have to say, Mr. Knight, I'll, I'll be respectful because I do respect your tag team. You guys got nice swag. Uh, but, but to say that you guys are on the same level as hey, the hey, players Stick, club. Sticks, this team, Coach Inc., we smooth. We, we too smooth to lose, okay? We smooth as ice, and we ain't never had a bad day in our lives, okay? So just stay woke on that. I just, I don't, I, I don't agree. I just, we'll, we'll, we'll agree to disagree. So we agree but, to disagree? But we can agree that uh, Mr. Eli Knight is doing work in the ring right now. Oh, wait a minute. Blind tag here. Judge Jack Kelly. Oh, boy. Unnecessary. Shot. Unnecessary. Eli Knight not ready for that. Oh, oh. Belly belly suplex. oh my goodness. Judge Jack Kelly with dropping the, the heavy, elbow. Heavy elbow. Right into the chest of Eli Knight. Judge going for the cover. I'm going to tell you one thing about Eli Knight. He is, he's young, but he's very persevering. He's hardworking. He's very durable. I mean, I mentioned a few weeks back that I saw him lose a tooth and continue the match. I was there for it. I mm. held it in my hand. So he's a tough kid. An extremely tough young man. That yes. is for sure. Yes, man. He started, he started in the ring at the age of 15, man, and ain't been out since. He won't even let his job at McDonald's keep him out of it. Well, it shows. It shows in his work effort. It shows in the improvements that he's made. I've had a chance to watch some of his career when he first started to now. And he's making some significant improvements. And right now, he is in a world of trouble because the people's court are really hitting their stride now. Judge Jack Kelly has Eli Knight in enemy territory. A little bit of justice in the corner there. Officer Drake looking to get a little bit of retribution, perhaps, for yeah, those got, knife edge chops he received a little bit earlier on. Oh. Backbreaker. Oh, Eli, shake it off, man. Come on now. Officer Drake. That looked painful. Oh, my goodness. That was ruthless. Oh, my God. Uh, modified camel clutch there. But one of the one of the things Eli was always tells me is we ride these countless roads, you know what I'm saying, and travel the city and then uh, go bring a little bit of culture nationwide. Um, one of the things he told me is one of the biggest inspirations of getting the wrestling man. He just wants to see the world. He wants to inspire others that are there more oh. to their life. He just wants to be part of something way bigger. You know what I'm saying? He's going to inspire himself to catch his breath there after that Ooh. mid shot. You know, if he continues oh. at this pace, the only thing he's going to see is the ceiling as he looks up at the bright lights because Judge Jack Kelly is laying the boots to him and taking advantage of the situation. It's pretty interesting to see a judge breaking the rules here, Nick's. Yeah, he's really testing the five count of our referee. The rules. This, he's this, bending them. Yeah, this isn't. Oh well. When oh. It comes to when it comes to judging, there now is did you a not see that cheap shot? I, we, what do you mean? Right Look, now, wait a minute. Now he had he had, Malik has every right to feel the way he is. He just hit him for no reason. That's how the people's court. That's how they handle. Boy, it pays. I guess. Oh you my goodness, somebody. rep! There's come on, rep! This ain't right. Can you turn around, please? Drake. Listen, if nobody saw it, it didn't happen, okay? Oh, my goodness. So this I, is I mean, I saw it. I, I don't know what thank, you're watching. Thank, thank you, young Professor Sticks. You got to get with it, man. Come on now. This is how they handle the things in the people's court. They do what they need to do. Justice is served in the people's court. Nah, man. I don't know if I would call it justice. That's not justice at all. It's injustice, if you ask me. Officer Drake coming in hot. Swing and a miss. Eli, all that quickness, that 19-year-old quickness. He rolls out of the way. He is reaching out. There you go. Do you hear he the crowd? You hear the crowd? Can to get to Malik Bosa. You Do you see hear this crowd out here, man? Here, man? You can see Malik. He is chomping at the bit to get inside the squared circle right now. And he's going to get that. There we go. Here now, here we go. Kelly. Let's go. Malik Turn it up on him, Malik. Line. That's what I'm talking about. Make it two. Put some whooping on that boy. Let's go. Do it for the coach, Malik. Let's oh, go, man. Remember, the Irish whip gets reversed. Uh-oh. Woo! Shows some athleticism of his own. There we go with the oh, spine oh, buster. Oh. Malik Bo City, baby. Malik is fired Now up. watch this right here. Watch this. Take notes, young professor. Take notes, Sticks. This is a move we like to call Juve. This is a move that was inspired from a, a carnival out there in St. Thomas where Malik grew up out there in the Caribbean. Bringing the coach a straight hand to the middle of the ring at FEW. He brought his foot right Bocini to the judge's hailing face. from the Lesser Antilles, and right now a tag. Eli Knight is the legal man. Here we go. This move Knight. we like to call ten toes down. Drake. Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh! Eli able to there we go. On. Quick thinking there by the line. Officer Lander. Drake, he gets dumped out into the front row, but Judge Jack Kelly looking for a belly to back. There we go. Suplex. Malik lands on oh, his feet. He He's reversed it. Up. Oh! Oh! Down. The coach is shot. Coach is shot. Coach is shot. Coach is shot. Let's go. Hey. Wow, what an unbelievable performance here. 
Eli Knight, Malik Bosini, Culture Inc. Yes, right, man. Like I've been trying to tell you, stay woke, sticks. Stay woke, young professor. These two are on the rise. I'm telling you, man, stay woke. Eli Knight and Malik Bow City, they the future of FEW. Your boys look tremendous here tonight. They look fantastic. They are really making it. I'm really telling making you. it known that they are making a play to become the new FEW Tag Team Champions. Those championships were vacated. We don't have any champions at the current Hold on, hold on, yo, hold, hold on, yo, Professor. Hold on, hold on. What are we holding on? What's, what's happening? Hey, help. you get some control. We're controlling this broadcast. We're, we're supposed to go to our post-match you interview. We're going to get control here. here. Let's go. You good, Eli? We good, we here? Hey, right, then good. Hey, you hear me? Gucci? Hi. Right. Gucci? Let me tell you what's up. See, you have these two. You have these two people who, who gonna run into the ring. They gonna cause as much destruction, as much mayhem as they possibly can. But the thing is, when you have Culture Inc. in the building, yes, sir. that's a different story. Yes, sir. You run in, you run in another match, you think that you run this place? Nah, nah. The thing is, you got a team right here with two wins. And you two, you two had two suspensions. Two suspensions. Two. Count them. So what do you think that makes you? It makes you nothing but losers. A two-time loser. So, JB, play a circle. Let me tell you what's up. Mm. Me and Malik, we want you two. Up next. Commissioner Scott, if you looking for a permanent solution to get rid of the players club, look no further than the coach. Stay woke. Carla Brown, is that you? Brenda? Girl, oh, give me a hug. Yeah. Wow, girl, you haven't changed a bit. Thank you, thank you. No, I try, I try, and look at you. You are glowing. So, do you know what you're having yet? Oh, no, she didn't. I'm not pregnant. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Shocking turn of events here. Shock, will you get some control? I mean, I'm, I'm doing Just all that do I can. Do your job, you know, I'm trying you? to run a broadcast for all of our fans watching Fighting Evolution Wrestling. And what I do know is this, coming up next, we have a Flares Division matchup. We're going to see Kaya Dream, the Georgia Peach, representing Culture Inc. So, no, we are not done with Culture Inc. Culture Inc. just taking over the show. Well, she's coming off a loss last week, and she is looking to right some of those wrongs, and she's going to have her hands full as she takes on the former Flares champion, Roxy Rouge. Let's first hear from Kaya Dream. I'm here with Kaya Dream of Culture Inc., Kaya, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. I know that we haven't really had a chance to speak. I appreciate that. Um, it seems like you and Culture Inc. have been kind of running rampant and putting your rule over on the FEW. What are your plans for the future? Our plans is to take... Oh. Hi. Uh, How's it going? It, it's going well. Uh, here we are with former Flares women's champion, Roxy Rouge. Uh, how are you doing, Roxy? I'm just hanging in there. Obviously, tonight you are going to be facing Kaya Dream. Uh -huh. How are you feeling about your match tonight? I'm really excited. She's just sweet like a little Georgia Peach, and I can't wait to her. All right. Thank you so much for I, I have a secret for you. Right. <laughs> What did you just let happen? How could you do that? I, 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 I sincerely and apologize. And up to her tricks again. That's all right. I'll see you in the ring tonight, Roxy. This is going to be a good one, ladies and gentlemen, but let's throw it down to Joshua Flores. He is standing by inside the ring for the action.
this next match is a Flair's Division match, and it is scheduled for one fall. Well, Sticks, her stablemates, Eli Knight, Malik Bosini, they look pretty good here tonight. Nick J. Holiday sure had a lot to say. Let's see if fortune continues to favor the members of Culture Inc. We've got Kaya Dream. She's heading down to the ring right now. Kaya Dream, a very talented young competitor here in the Flair's division. She certainly is. And she is coming off of a rather confusing loss last week to Layla Gray. I'm not, if you're confused, how do you think she is? Uh, I'm sure she's confused as well. But think about, think about the potential of this matchup right now. Well, she has an opportunity to show everyone that there is no confusion in what she can do inside that ring. And she's going to really have to work hard to make sure everybody is clear on that because she's going against Roxy Rouge, of course, our former, the last one that we had, the Flair's champion. And her opponent. And once again, really, really, we're doing this again? Yeah, that's that's right. I'm back, man. I just had to go take care of Eli and Malik. Make sure they were taken care of after that. Well, yeah. well. Nick J. Holiday joining win. us back here at ringside, but coming down the stairs, making her way into the FDW arena. Roxy Rouge. Yeah, Roxy. Ro Roxy's a very, very, very tough, ferocious competitor. But but sticks. Did, 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 did you see Kaya? Did you see her come down? Did. Did, you, did you see and how she graced the ring? And I said. That she's a, a very talented young competitor here in FBW, and I'm very proud of her and for what she's done thus far, although she might be a little guilty by association, oh, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, shots fired, Sticks. I'm going to remember that. See, there go your Christmas present. And the referee, Bruce Owens, he will be presiding over this matchup here. Looks like, as per usual here in the Flares division, he's going to have his hands full, Roxy Rouge. Giving everybody the thumbs up. I guess that means she's yes. ready to go. She's a pretty, she's pretty unorthodox to say the very least. But you see, Kaya dreams. She's got her dukes up, man. Let's get it. Now watch this. Oh, look oh. at this. Ooh. this. What is? Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, the fingers. No. The phalanges. Ah. Separating those digits oh. is a good way to hurt your. There we opponent, go, Kaya. Especially early on and take your head out of the game. But there Kaya, you go. Able to get back on track here. Side headlock, she's got it locked in deep. Hey man, that's a Georgia piece. That's a Southern Bell Kai dream. She's gonna get her way out of that. There we go. Roxy Rouge. What is? Tagging her opponent. Tag. Oh no, here come a tag right here. Boom, tag that Roxy, there we go. Tag her with a shoulder tackle. A little attitude on display from Kaya Dream. Yes sir. Uh oh. Look at this stalling. Sideways, oh, backbreaker. Oh my goodness, there we go Kaya. Sends her back off the ropes. Roxy Rouge picks her up again. Looking for another back. Oh, oh there we go. Minute. There we go. That knee connects straight to the face. Smart move. You can see Roxy Rouge is reeling. Let's see. There we go. line from Kaya Dream. Elbow oh, drop. Let me educate y'all, man, a bit about Kaya Dream, man. Please. One of her big, one of her big motivations in the wrestling business to make to make her family and her town proud. She comes, she comes from a small town and wants to be a superstar. To be honest, that's what she told me every time we were on the road. So I never had to set up a small lifestyle, is what she said. The town was too small. She got big dreams. Well, she's getting a heck of an opportunity here as she comes to, to the television sets of all of our viewers throughout the entire United States and beyond. Roxy Rouge right now, though, feeling the pain. She's good. Yeah, was very, very gingerly on that knee. Did she hurt her knee? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I wouldn't want to continue either. Let's just see if she's a oh, oh, yeah, come on by the former champion. Come on, that supposed in. knee injury. The Trojan oh, horse. Really? There. Look at her now stretching, stretching it, it out. Guys. Dream stretching it out. Falls for it. No, man, no. That's just showing compassion. That's not. That's not a weakness of hers at all. Being compassionate, trying to check on her competitor, see if she's good. To, oh, come on, man. That was low down and dirty. I would have to agree. That was an. Uh, but you mentioned it. You said it yourself, Nick. At the beginning of this match, Roxy Rouge, an extremely unorthodox professional wrestler. There is a reason why she held on to the FEW Flares Championship as long as she did. She, just like the rest of the current champions, were stripped. A few weeks ago when our first show went down 
when Commissioner Alyssa Sky. Speaking of that, though. There we go. Now, look. There we go. Speaking of Kaya Dream with the sunset. Come on now. Get it down. Oh. Ah. There you see the size advantage. That's, that's why she's a former women's champion right there. That's right. That's her move there. Frustration on the face of Roxy Rouge. But look, okay, now watch this, though. One of Lorna Kaya Dreams' biggest strength is that she's also perseverance. Well, she has a lot of resiliency. You can see it a in lot. her face. She doesn't give up. She doesn't quit. She's able to withstand the punishment and get back to her feet and continue the fight. And she's going to need that right now. And her mental, her mental toughness is off the charts. That's really what's going to be the thing that's going to that should put over the edge over Roxy. Let's, Let's just see. That's an extremely important element in being successful in this business. Nice reversal there. There we go. Oh. Back elbow from Kaya Dream. That's what I'm talking about. Kaya's got to stay on her. She's going to. For the culture. Let's go, Kaya. Uh oh, look at this. Oh. It ain't bad. Oh, man. Okay, Roxy reversed it. Come on, Kaya, kick out. There we go. Roxy Rouge went for a cover, almost got her, but Kaya Dream able to escape just in the nick of time. Let's go. Nice Kaya kick to the gut. The Huge kick to the section, running knee lift. Stay on it now, stay on it. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. There we go. Are you coaching from the commentary table? I have to, man. That's what we do in the culture. We show love anywhere we at. There we go with the cutter. Drives her face first into the mat. Game over, game over. Kaya Dream cover oh. now. Not quite enough to put away the former FEW Flares champion. But this is where that mental toughness is going to come into play. Like I told you, she's not getting frustrated. She's staying on her. She's staying with the game plan. Better hope What's that she, she stays on her. What is this? What are we looking at here? Looks like we're looking Kaya at... Dream. Oh! oh! Go Red! Go Red! Go Red! Dream over! Dream over! Let's go! What is that move called? Dream over. Wow. This holiday, I got to tell you, man. This is a big night across the board for Culture Inc. Do you well, see? Do you see what I'm telling you? We are coming to change the culture of not only the tag division, but we literally just changed the culture of the women's division through Kaya Dreams, the Southern Draw, the Georgia Peach. Stay woke. I'm Dr. Richard Davidson, and at our chiropractic offices, it's not what happens inside the office, but what happens on the outside that counts. Our goal is to get you back to doing the activities that you love to do in life. The less time you spend in our offices, the better. At our multiple locations, we offer chiropractic care, massage therapy, physical therapy, and medical services. We have all the tools to ensure that you live a happy, healthy life. Patients come to our offices for many different reasons. We take care of professional athletes, seniors, newborns, auto accident injuries, and people who just want to maintain their healthy lifestyle. Our team is always welcoming new patients into our offices. Come back today for a free consultation. Sticks, I'm not sure how you feel about it, but when it comes to Culture Inc., they're making us believers. Let's go ahead and throw it on back. Did you see that? Did you see that? Kai, you did your thing. You just beat a former FEW Women's Champion one, two, three in the ring. It's, I did this, and I cannot be more excited to finally get my win in, which is rightfully deserved. You're looking at the next FEW Women's Champion, Kaya Dream. Stay woke. Doing it for the culture. Are you staying woke, Sticks? Oh, well, I'm definitely awake. Well, I tell you what, they're waking up a lot of people here tonight. I'm talking about Culture Inc. Big victory for the tag team, Malik and Eli. Big victory for Kaya Dream, beating the former Flares champion. And speaking of the former Flares champion, let's throw it to Roxy Rouge and hear what she has to say after this upset loss to Kaya Dream. I'm a little Miss Naive isn't so naive, is she? She thought she was sweet. Apparently, she's the rotten one, not me. Georgia Peach, my rear end. She's got me this time. She won't get me a second time. That was a setup for the real punchline. Roxy Rouge certainly not losing any confidence, even in the face of defeat. I have a feeling uh, Roxy will make an impact here sooner rather than later. Well, we have really shaken up things inside the Flares division, but don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We've got one more matchup coming your way right after this commercial break.
who have been chosen to compete in Fighting Evolution Wrestling. Fighting Evolution Wrestling? You were chosen because you are considered the best grappler of your time. I am the best. We shall see. Welcome back, Fighting Evolution Wrestling fans. We've got one more coming your way here tonight. We've got Jimmy Jam taking on Isaiah Zane. Let's go ahead and check out what Jimmy Jam has to say, making his debut here this evening. Excuse me. Jim ah, what? Sorry, Jimmy Josh? Jam. What? Sorry, I just wanted to uh, get a couple words with you about your match tonight with Isaiah Zane. Oh, man, Isaiah Zane. Who's, who's, who's Isaiah? Oh, wait. He's uh, uh, the third in the, uh, the, the, the weird club, the Make It, right? Yes. Well, well, they didn't make anything. Oh, wait, there is a touching story with, with the Make It, you know. They're, they're, I've heard they've had some setbacks. They've been set back for two years. That's a, that's a very touching story, but <laughs> touching stories don't win matches. Jimmy Jam, the hometown boy, trying to be the hometown hero. Let's check in with the away team. I'm talking about Isaiah Zane. Isaiah Zane, I just want to go ahead and get a couple words with you here before your match tonight against Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Is that a, is that a uh, special on the restaurant tonight? Jimmy Jam's Burgers and Fries and Wings, boy? No, that, that's your opponent tonight. That's who you're facing in the ring. I'm just messing with you, dog. But it does sound delicious, though. All right, Jimmy Jam, I heard what you had to say. Look, it is a touching story. Yeah, we were kind of held back for two years. But me and the Makers have officially arrived at FEW, baby. And we're more than happy to have you guys here. It's been great seeing you in action. What are your plans here tonight? I mean, look, if I'm being honest, First match didn't really go as planned. I took the L, not gonna lie. But like I said, no more losses, no more. It's just W's from now on, all right? Jimmy Jam and one third of the member of the Make It's. We're ready to make our way down to the ring. Joshua Flores standing by. We got one more, let's go everybody. Sticks. He's wearing athletic wear. Is that, do you have a problem with what he's wearing inside the ring? No. Shouldn't you be focused on calling the action? Shouldn't you be focused on that? We're calling the action. There's going to be some action here because Isaiah Zane is making his way down to the ring. He and his partners, the Russell Twins, they call themselves the Make It 
And he's looking to make it big, especially here in the Magic City and for all of our fans watching at home on FBW's television program. Isaiah Zane had an impressive match last week. He is coming off a loss, however. He had an impressive match, as you mentioned, against game day Johnny Zeke. Looking to right the wrong there, at least if you ask him, when it comes to the outcome of that match. Going against a newcomer, and that is, of course, Mr. Jimmy Jam, who's being patted down in the ring, make sure no foreign objects are present. Isaiah standing by, getting ready for the match here. Referee Andrew Girk doing a very thorough job making sure there is no funny business. And that is what we like to see. Fair and square action right down the middle. There's the bell. And Jimmy Jam, Isaiah Zane. Looking to put on a show here inside the FEW Arena. Be interested to see how this goes. They're both similar in size. That is probably the biggest change of what we'll see from Isaiah Zane. He was certainly outsized and outmatched from game day Johnny Zeke last week. But Isaiah Zane is extremely athletic. He and his partners, the Russell Twins, been training and driving up and down the roads here together in the professional wrestling industry. They started training on the same day. They've been trying to make it ever since, and they are looking to make it with Isaiah Zane, hoping to come oh, up nice with a cover. big singles victory. After a beautiful sequence there by both men. Only gets a one count, goes back to that side headlock. A little wrist control now from Isaiah. Look at the torque he's applying. Look at all that pressure he's applying to that elbow. Look at this a reversal from Jimmy Jam. Isaiah doing all that he can to try and break the grip of Jimmy Jam, trying to find his way back into this. He's got that grip locked in tight. Changes it up a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Test of strength. A one-handed test of strength. Isaiah Zane goes up, drags him over. Look at that lucha arm drag there. Look how explosive, how quick, how powerful Isaiah Zane is out of nowhere. Isaiah Zane with the up and over. Nice arm drag takedown. Right back into the shoulder lock. Just grounding Jimmy Jam down to the mat. Jimmy looking to impress here in his hometown of Miami, Florida. But right now, he's being... Oh, rolls him up. Nice. Rolled up. Oh, there. Lots of chain wrestling on display early. These two guys are usually high flyers in my estimation, just based on what I've seen from them in the past. I've seen Isaiah Zane work out in the ring a little bit. He's deceptively smart when it comes to submissions holds, things of that nature. So I'm not surprised he has some Matt Ackerman. I'm sorry. Ackerman is yes, that the word you're that one. That's the one. Mongolian chop there from Jimmy Jam. That's going to leave a mark on Isaiah Zane. Oh, Rick, all across the ropes, face first in the turnbuckle. Jimmy Jam, another Mongolian chop. That's a two-handed chop, ladies My and gentlemen. My favorite kind of chop. Oh! oh nice suplex, suplex there, floats over into the pin. Nice display of offense from Jimmy Jam. Jimmy goes right back to a... Oh, wait a minute. Almost a modified, seated bow and arrow. Torgy. I'm not sure he's got all of it. Here. Look, Isaiah is able to work his way out just a little bit, enough to get Jimmy Jam off of him. Jimmy goes right back on the assault with a nice strike to the head and a kick to the lower back. Jimmy Jam trying to stay in control here. Oh, Mocking his opponent. No, he's got to stay focused, man. Stay aggressive. It's your first match. Forearm shot from Jimmy. He scoops him up. Drives him down hard. Nice slam there. Cover. One. Only a one count. A lot of wherewithal right there for Isaiah Zane. Forearm shot from Jimmy. Irish whip. Isaiah ducks that clothesline attempt. Went for one of his own. Blocked, but he nails it that time. 
Makes solid contact. Jimmy Jam goes down hard. Here comes Isaiah Zane. Back elbow. Nearly turns him inside out with that one. Drop toe hold. Face first into the mat goes Jimmy. And now he's hung up on the second rope. Isaiah on the outside. Nice and running knee out of the apron. That's going to leave a mark. Top rope. Cross body from the top. Hooks the leg, cover. Oh, a little too much, a little too much momentum heading in the wrong direction, and Jimmy's able to turn the tight, get the shoulder up just in time. The angle of that pin there, Stacy had his leg. Oh, oh my goodness! It was a running, falling flatliner. I think Jimmy Jam is out, He's and out he cold. certainly is. Isaiah Zane, one third of the member of the Make It. You gotta give it to Jimmy Jam though, impressive debut. Impressive, but not quite enough to get the job done. Isaiah Zane showing everybody that he can hang here in the Magic City, hang here in Fighting Evolution Wrestling. Great show of offense. Explosive finishing maneuver there. That falling flatliner was really oh, impressive. It really was. Jimmy Jam didn't see it coming. It came straight out of nowhere. And at a high speed, his face went driving straight down into the mat. Guys, what an unbelievable contest. I believe we have Jimmy Jam standing by in the back for his post-match conference. Go, please ask your question and interrupt me again. Jimmy, how did it feel to just be that close from away from victory? How, does it feel? how do you think it feels? It feels awful. It feels terrible. See, what the camera didn't see was him raking my eyes. Heck, I think there was even a low blow down there. Did you see it? No, nobody saw it, because you're not observant like I am. No more questions. Short and sweet to the point there. Yeah, a little disappointed coming up short here in his hometown. You gotta feel, he's, he's gotta feel dejected coming out of this one. Not the way he wanted this one to go, but that is certainly not how Isaiah Zane has gotta be feeling. He came off a loss last week. Huge victory here tonight. Let's see what he has to say following this big victory. Jimmy Jam, Jimmy Jazz, Jimmy Johns, peanut butter jammy time. I don't know what his name is. In all respect, all seriousness though, he put up a good fight. But I told y'all I wasn't taking another L. It's all W's for now on. Isaiah Zane looking good here to close out our show tonight. Did you have a good time with me here tonight, Sticks? I always have a good time here at FEW. How about Culture Inc.? How about Culture Man, that Culture is the Inc. big story coming out of this show, and they laid out a challenge for the Players Club. The Players Club still serving their suspension. They're going to be suspended for one more week, but they're going to be back two weeks from now. you got to figure that they are going to have something to say about Culture Inc. and the status of the tag division. But that is all the time we have, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you that are still traveling after this holiday weekend, be safe out on the roads. On behalf of Styx, my name is The Young Professor, telling you that class is dismissed, and that is all the people need to know. <laughs>